today I have Peyton Hi. and my niece Sophie with us and we are going to show you how to make just a very simple zipper pouch. So um, the kit comes with fabric for your outside, fabric for your inside, fabric for your inside, and then two pieces of interfacing. Okay? So and the two pieces and a zipper. <laughs> Minor details, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so the interfacing, what you guys are gonna do first, this interfacing is going to add a little bit of thickness to your outside fabric, okay? So when you pick up your interfacing, I want you guys, if you touch it, can you tell the side that has bubbles on it and the side that's like yeah. more smooth, right? Mm -hmm. So we are going to use an iron, so get help if you need it, but we're gonna use an iron to iron this interfacing onto our outside fabric. So this is Peyton's, this is her outside fabric here. What you're gonna do is you're gonna find the bumpy side, you're gonna lay that down, and then you're going to put your outside fabric on top of it. So now the bumpy side of the interfacing is touching the ugly side of the fabric, right? The wrong side. And we will go ahead and iron that. So I'll show you that first, okay? Okay, so like I said, you're gonna have the bumpy side of the fabric facing up. Then you're gonna lay your fabric, the outside fabric on top of it. And it's okay if it's not exactly the same because I cut it and I might've made a slight shift, but you're gonna lay it on top of it so that the bumpy side touches the wrong side of this fabric. You're gonna pick up your iron, and you're gonna go from the middle, and then slowly go out, okay? And then do the same thing on the other side, the middle, and then go out. Now, we don't want to go back and forth, back and forth, because what that will do is cause wrinkles in your fabric, okay? So just kind of go in one direction, We'll do it one more time. And then you should see that they're gonna be stuck together. And that just makes this fabric a little bit stiffer, okay? So we'll do that to all of the outside pieces right now. Okay, so now we have all of our outside pieces. We have the interfacing on them. So now it's time to start working with the zipper. Sorry, there's a string. Now this one I cut the interfacing just a little bit bigger than the actual fabric. So I will go ahead and trim that up just so it's a little easier for Sophie to, to sew it. But kind of depending on how much of a difference it is, this is only about a quarter of an inch. So it's up to you if you want to trim it or not if necessary. But what we're gonna do now is get started with the zipper. Now, if you've ever done a class with me, you know that when I apply zippers, magic tool is our they're boosted. So, um, so this is just a plain Elmer's washable boost stick. Wash the purple is good. But Sophie, have you ever done a zipper before? Twice. Twice? Okay, perfect. Couldn't remember. I've so like what you guys are gonna do is you're gonna use your glue and just put glue. Um, you want it white for your top or black? White. White. Okay. So she wants a, her zipper to be up here. So she's gonna put just a strip of glue right along the top of the main fabric, okay? All right, so you're gonna kind of just use the edge of your glue and just try to do it kind of a thin line. It's about a quarter of an inch, just along the top. So we're doing the top of the main outside fabric. Okay, so we're putting a strip of glue on there. Once we have our glue, we're gonna take your zipper. All right, so once we put our glue on there, we're gonna take our zipper. You guys need to recognize the right side and the wrong side of the zipper. So when I talk about the right side of the zipper, it's the side with the zipper pull, okay? So now what we're gonna do is lay the right side of your zipper down. Um, so it will be pretty sides kissing, and you're lining up the raw edge of the zipper tape to the raw edge of the fabric. So it will look like this. All right, so we have the zipper pretty sides down. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab your one of your lining pieces, okay? So this is the inside fabric. And we are gonna take our glue stick one more time and run it just along the top of the zipper so that that tape that piece between the zipper teeth and, teeth and the raw edge has glue on it. Now what you're gonna do is take this, you wanna do it? Yeah. And go pretty sides down, okay? So now, so you'll be pretty, pretty sides kissing, kissing from the main fabric and the lining. And once you place it down, go ahead and just run your finger along, kind of pushing the glue down. 
And then just for extra measure, since this glue it works, it helps make it sticky, but it doesn't really like hold super, super strong. So once you feel like it's placed where you want it, go ahead and grab clips or pins, and then go ahead and just clip it onto the top. Do you wanna do that, Peyton? Sure. So we're just putting the clips in there just to kind of help hold it even stronger. The trickiest part about doing a zipper is that the zipper slides around. So the glue and the clips are going to help keep it in place. So when we sew it, it's gonna stay right where it wants to. And you know, I overclip everything. So we're gonna add a bunch there. <laughs> Perfect. So now it's gonna look like this. This is the interfacing side. This is your lining. And if we separated that, you'll see this is your main fabric, okay? So we are gonna go sew this now with the machine. Yeah. Okay, so we have our machine on. One thing we need to do is we need to change the foot. So hopefully your machine has a zipper foot. You can kind of see it has, I always call it a good duck bill or something. And it allows us to get close to the side of the zipper. So we are gonna switch out our presser foot. We'll take that normal one off. And we're gonna line it up right there, okay? So we have our, our zipper foot on. One thing you guys need to, to look for is where that zipper pull is at. So the thing that's gonna open up the zipper, because we don't wanna sew right next to that because it's bulky and it will kind of make for a curved line. So what we usually do when we sew this is we do it in two passes. And I just need to get a pin really quick right here. So her zipper pull is right here at the end, which is totally fine. So we're gonna go like halfway. And I'm gonna put a pin in here because when we see a pin, it's a good reminder that, hey, wait, we need to stop. So she's gonna sew it from the beginning down to this pin and she'll do a back stitch and then we're gonna take it off of the machine and then go ahead and move that zipper pull and then she can finish sewing it. So we'll go ahead and line it up and we're gonna kind of line it up to the edge of that duck or edge of that presser foot right there. And we can put a piece of tape on there too to help make it more obvious. And you're just gonna sew straight normal we want to go zero one we want the needle to be center and we're just gonna go ahead and sew it straight down there and you just want to be careful not to actually sew over top of your zipper okay I'm going to do a back stitch we'll get you situated over here haven't already and then lift up your needle and your presser foot and take the fabric off of the machine so once we take it off we'll go ahead and cut our string we can take this pin away what we're going to do is open it up our glue kind of came unstuck there but that's okay i'm just moving it so that the zipper pull is now oopsie out of the way. So I'm moving it. She already sewed right here, so I'm moving the zipper pull all the way up there. And then we're going to flip it back over. And she already has her clips here. I'm going to go ahead and put another clip in there since the glue kind of stopped working for us. And then we're going to put it right back. So we'll line it up to the tape again. I'm going to start you back about an inch back. So you're going to sew in the same spot twice. So that way it overlaps. So I want you to start and then back stitch, and then you're going to sew it all the way to the end, okay? All right, so they attached the zipper to one side. So you can see this is the front, and this is going to be the inside, this is the lining, okay? Now we need to do the same thing to this side of the zipper. So you're gonna start again with your main piece of fabric and put your strip of glue there and then we'll attach the zipper on top, okay? Okay, so this is her other main piece. We're gonna do our glue right there. Just right along the top. Now it's washable glue, so if you get a little bit too much on there, it's okay. When you're all done, you can get a wet rag and kind of wash it off, okay? And it also goes away clear. And then we're going to take this, so it's going to end up being pretty sides kissing again. We're going to go pretty sides down, and this extra zipper piece is going to line up just along the top edge there, okay? 
And it always looks a little bit funny because this piece is just hanging, this piece that you already sewed. Now you're gonna take your glue stick again. Okay, so we're gonna, now that we have that tape or that zipper tape right there, we're gonna put glue right along the top edge one more time. And then we're gonna take our lining piece and go pretty sides down, just like what we did before. The only difference now is you have this extra piece just kind of hanging there. Mm -hmm. um, we're gonna pretend it's not there. And if we pretend it's not there, then it's the exact same as what we did before, yep. okay? Right? All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna sew this. So once again, we have her zipper pull right there. So I'm gonna put a pin in here to remind us to stop. And then you wanna go ahead and grab some clips and clip along here so that way it stays nice and steady. Okay. There you go. because the bobbin is usually the troublemaker. Okay, so I've re-threaded it, the top and the bottom. We're gonna give it another shot. So go ahead and start, and then do a back stitch. So do three stitches, and do a quick back stitch. Perfect. All right, so we had to take a quick little break, and we lost Sophie. Sophie. She had to go home. So Peyton, can I finish this up? Yeah. All right, <laughs> so what we've done so far is we sewed the zipper on, okay? So this is the main side of her um, zipper pouch. Yes. <laughs> this is the inside. So what's gonna happen is once we go to sew it all together, we'll so unzip it. A zipper pouch. And then you see the fun fabric on the inside, okay? Yeah. All right, so the next thing we have to do is we have to top stitch. This is probably our least favorite part, my least favorite part. It was a top uh, stitch. What's the top stitch? Good question. Top stitch is when we sew right along the top edge, and top stitch is visible. So most of the time when we sew, we don't ever even see the stitches, right? They're all gonna be on the inside and be in hidden, mm -hmm. but when we top stitch, it is visible. So at this point, you're gonna want your machines to be set to the color that closely matches your fabric. So for Peyton, she's gonna have white, white. and we're just gonna sew it straight down. Now, before I do that, I am going to lightly press the fabric on both sides without actually ironing the zipper because the zipper is plastic if we iron it it will melt so i'll show you that part really quick and then i uh, will get Peyton ready to sew okay so i'm at the ironing board i'm going to just lightly press and really our goal here is to get to keep the lining fabric away from the zipper if you've ever unzipped a zipper and had it um, get stuck in the fabric, it's just because the lining fabric would get in the way. So we're going to try to prevent that. So I'm just carefully ironing it, kind of pulling that away. Like I said, we just don't want to get too close to the plastic teeth because then they will melt. So I did the lining, and I'll do the same thing over here. I'm just kind of pushing it out of the way, just lightly ironing it on both sides. 
Um, I will go ahead, once I have this last side ironed, I'm going to grab some pins and I will put pins in here too to help keep it, um, keep the fabric away from the zipper while we sew it. So I'll just put a few pins in there and then we will go ahead and go to the machine and top stitch right along. Okay, so now at this point, I'm actually going to move the zipper foot to the other side, um, just because that is my preferred way to do this. So, what we're gonna do, oh, I'm so scared. Goodness sakes, don't be so scared. But are we? I think the machine's scared too. <laughs> it's supposed to be zero one, right? Yep, you wanna be at zero one, good call. Okay, so what she's gonna do, I'll see if Brandon can kind of zoom in here, but we are going to, Keep this edge of the okay. zipper foot, that big, the bigger edge, lined up with your outside fabric there, okay? Okay. And then as you're sewing, just kind of try to make sure that you're not getting lots of layers and move the pin out when it gets in your way, okay? So, so like right now. Yep, so we can go ahead and take that pin out right now and just kind of control it to line it up there um, next to that. Let's move that so we can see. There you go. This. Yeah, just get started just so they can kind of see. My back sit back stitch. Nope, you should just go straight across. And it's kind of not or wanting to move. Peyton likes to sew slow and steady, which I'm totally fine with. There you go. Okay, now you can put your hand up there and sew comfortably, okay? So she top stitched all around there and you can see it right there. Now we could have actually put the bobbin like a pink color, but I forgot and it's fine because she has white in there anyway. But that is one thing that you could always change your bobbin to match the lining if you didn't want to see it. But it's optional. Optional, there we go. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we are gonna top stitch this side as well. Now we're gonna kind of move that over. So same thing. We're lining it up, you wanna keep it on the right side. You're gonna line up the edge of that presser foot and just go straight down. There you go. All right, Peyton, you did a great job. So she top stitched on both sides mm -hmm. and now that inside lining's in the same place so it won't be able to get stuck when you do your zipper. Yay. Very cool. Okay, so now we're getting down to the last step here, okay? I guess last couple of steps. But what we're gonna do now is we are gonna sew all the edges together. So how we're gonna do that, you wanna have your zipper, let's say we leave your zipper halfway open, okay? Mm -hmm. That's important. So you can keep our zipper halfway open. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna match up our outside fabrics and go pretty sides kissing, and our lining will be pretty sides kissing. Now this is the part we're going to kind of turn it over so the zipper is gonna bend in towards the lining and I'm gonna match up our seams here. So the two white folded seams are gonna line up and then the lining's gonna bend over. So mm -hmm. I'm gonna put a clip right there and I'm gonna show you one more time on the other side. So I'm doing it so my zipper teeth and everything kind of point towards the lining. I'm gonna line up that where the outside fabric is folded. I'm gonna line that up. And then I'm just gonna take the lining and push it down. Okay, so I'm gonna clip that. And then what you're gonna do, Peyton, you're just gonna kind of lay it flat. You are going to clip all the way around, except we need to leave a hole in our lining. Oh. So I'm going to put some pins in here. And the reason we need to weave a hole in there is because we're going to have to turn our bag out mm -hmm. through that hole. So we're not going to sew right there. I want you to go ahead and get clips and clip all the way around. Okay. Okay, so now we are going to be sewing all the way around the outside of this. So we're going to use our regular presser foot again. So I'm going to take this zipper foot off because we are done with that. And we'll put our regular foot on. There we go. All right, so we have our regular foot on. The other thing is, is 
We have tape from when we were doing the zipper, but we're going to move the tape now. We want to do this at half inch seam allowance. So I'm moving it over. I know where a half inch is at on my machine. Um, if you need to measure it, you can always grab a ruler. I thought I had one there, but I don't. You can always grab a little ruler and measure a half inch from the needle over to there, okay? okay. And since we're going to be doing a big old square, a rectangle actually, I'm going to put a piece of tape down here to help you know when to pivot, okay? Mm -hmm. So we will grab a magnet just to help make it a little bit more obvious for you. And what you're going to do is start, I would just start where one of your pins are, so I would start right there, and you're going to work your way all the way around. Now when you go by that zipper, go. I like to go a little bit slower because I want to make sure we're not going to hit any metal parts, okay? You should be good because the metal should be within a half inch from the edge, but just in case, just go a little slower when you get over by the metal, okay? All right, girl, go ahead and start and back stitch. Do your back stitch. Perfect. Why don't you go ahead and move that green clip and go ahead and go and I'll help remind you when you have to do your first pivot. Just so you know, Peyton's uh, band-aid is from a paper cut. She didn't get her sewing. <laughs> okay, go ahead and stop. Okay, so now you see how your fabric is lined up with the bottom mm -hmm. of that tape? Go ahead and pick it up. Leave your needle down, right? Mm -hmm. Needle down and turn the fabric. And then lower your pressure coat back down. Okay, and now you can keep going. Okay, so Peyton just said that it was stuck, and what happened is, if you can kind of see, it's kind of like going up the hill right here. And Peyton does tend to sew slow and steady, so what she might need to do is take this fabric in the back and almost kind of tug it just to kind of help it get over that hill. So go ahead and sew, and I'll kind of pull it with you. So we don't want it to be really big stitches or anything. We're just going to kind of help it move it along. And now we should be good to go because now it's going down the hill. So now you can keep on going, okay? down right so in order to open it we kind of have to kind of flip it and start to open it kind of awkwardly kind of just moving our zipper pull out of the way all right now Peyton we yes. opened it all the way up go ahead and stick your hand in there and start to pull it out so it flips that flips to see the right side and sometimes this can be kind of hard because you're Outside fabric is kind of thick with that interfacing and you have the zipper in there. Just kind of do your best to pull that out. There you go. And keep going with this. Here. I like it's going to rip. It's not going to rip. You it's sewed it so well. Hard Why hard would you work. think? <laughs> hard work would be gone, huh? Okay. Yeah. Now put your hand inside the hole that we left and kind of use your fingers to poke out the corners. There you go. 
That's what I'm going to do. While you work on that, I'm going to go grab a chopstick. So you keep pulling that out. Now she is using, so Peyton's using her pointer finger right now to kind of poke out the corners. But we can also use, I use these a lot, this is actually used for tube oh. turner. But we can use that and kind of, kind of softly poke out the corners with this too. Do you use like the bottom? Sometimes I'll use the bottom um, because I don't want to rip mm. a hole. So it kind of depends on the type of fabric. This is pretty sturdy cotton fabric, so I can use that. Now it's not really pointed, it's just kind of a rounded point. Mm -hmm. So it's not too, too sharp, but you do want to be careful, right? We don't want to put any holes in our fabric. I don't want to go. Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> All right. And we will poke out this. And guess what? You are almost done. What's the last thing you have to do? Do you know? I'm um, pretty sure it's sew the hole. Yep, sew the hole. Woo! All right, so what she's going to do is we have this hole, right? So all we're going to do is fold it. And we will and we'll use pins because that's what we have right here. And we'll put some pins in here. She's going to go sew this hole kind of close to the edge so that things won't go hiding inside the lining. So we'll sew it right there, okay? Okay, so once again, all we need to do is sew mm -hmm. that hole shut. Now, if we were super picky, again, we could change our thread to match the lining, but we're not I'm, that picky today. I'm not picky. Not today, anyway. So, mm -hmm. we're gonna wind it up. Peyton is going to use the edge of the presser foot. She's a little bit more of a newer sewist, um, mm -hmm. so she wants to use the edge of the presser foot. If you are more advanced, mm -hmm. you could move it closer to the needle and go really close to the edge and use that little notch that we always refer to in class. But Peyton likes to use the edge of the presser foot, and you know what? That is totally fine. So we're gonna put our presser foot down, and we're gonna move this magnet. <laughs> and we're gonna move that first pin. Go ahead and sew until you get. Do I backstitch? Sorry, I'm gonna actually put one more pin in until you get to that white pin, okay? Do you I do back want to backstitch. You want to backstitch at the beginning and the end because this is the last stitch. So now Peyton's just going to finish clipping her strings. So go ahead. Oh. <laughs> I'm like, how am I supposed to clip the strings? <laughs> Alright, so her strings are all clipped. Mm -hmm. Just toss them to the side. Is that what we do? Yeah. Alright, what are you going to do now? I'm pretty sure you put it in. Mm -hmm. So you're going to tuck your lining inside of your bag. So that it's... And kind of use that pointer finger. Kind of get everything situated there. All right, and guess what? You are done. Show everybody your great work. Mm -hmm. The zip, it's a true test. Oh, you know what? One thing I didn't mention, the zipper pull right there. And then we have to just use our thumb. Oops. Okay. Oh, it's okay. Did I get stuck in there? No, 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 no not that zipper pull. You're right, I said the wrong word. The extra, that seam allowance from the tape, you know, mm -hmm. just is kind of bulky right there. Anyway. So we're just going to push these out oh, right there in the right corners. Right there. Yeah, so, yeah, your pole's here. You're good. You did a great job. Sometimes I just have to work that a little bit. Okay. There's one more step. To use it. To use it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks so much Bye. for joining us. Have an awesome day. Bye. Yeah.